Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, so I'm going to have another short one today just because I'm up visiting my parents. Um, just before you freak out about, you know, oh, visiting, whatever, uh, we are being extremely COVID safe. If we're within, you know, six feet of each other, we're masking up, um, you know, washing hands, all of that. My wife and I take this extremely seriously. My wife is a PhD student in infectious disease and virology. So this is like, you know, this is her career is understanding this stuff and being careful with it. Um, my, I'm, I'm being especially careful. My mom has pre-existing conditions that if she was exposed to COVID would be devastating. Um, and I just don't want that to happen. Uh, so we are being safe. We are taking precautions. Um, so don't think I'm like flaunting rules or anything like that. Cause I'm definitely not. Um, so yeah, like I said, we're visiting my parents right now. And it's weird. I've been coming to this house literally my entire life. This was my grandparents' house when I was growing up. Um, then, you know, at one point um, after my grandmother uh, started losing her battle with Alzheimer's, my parents bought this house. So my parents own this house now. Like I said, it was my grandparents' house before that. Um, I've been coming here literally forever. And it's always been a comfort to me to be in this house. And it's not that it doesn't feel comforting anymore. It just, it's not my space anymore. Um, when I was young, I moved around all the time um, until my wife and I uh, bought our house about a year and a half ago when she started grad school. The longest I would choose to stay in a place is, you know, a year and then I would move somewhere else. Um, I've kind of always been like that. I think it was easier for me when no place felt like home to just, you know, be able to move on, do, you know, just not create a sense of connection to place. Um, I've never been one of those type of people. I don't really get upset about losing a house or something like that just because it's just been part of my life to just constantly you know, move on. Um, I've definitely got a wanderer soul. Um, if I could be on the road all the time, I probably would. Um, but yeah, so being back in this house, a place that has been comforting to me my entire life, it's, it's weird. Um, <clears throat> when it just doesn't feel like home, like it, this place used to be home. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? I used to come to this place and just feel like, Okay, I'm home. Um, and I know that kind of contradicts what I was just saying, but like, despite thinking it's easier when no place feels like home, there are still area like places that you can go and be like, okay, this is safe. This is secure. This is, you know, a part of my identity, um, despite my objections to, you know, settling. Um, but, you know, now that my wife and I have our own place, um, coming back to anybody else's home, it's just so weird for me. Um, I used to, you know, spend countless hours in this very room that I'm in right now uh, and be content. And, you know, we've been here a few hours and I'm just like, this is, you know, it just feels weird. Um, but that's OK. But it just shows that, you know, you, you can never go home um, despite having a place that may become your home or may feel like home. Um, you can't go back to the way things used to be. Um, basically, um, nostalgia is, can be a beautiful thing, but I think it's also a toxic impulse at times, this longing to return to, you know, simpler, better times. They really weren't simpler or better. We just, you know, we just feel that way because it was different. And, you know, everyone looks at the past through rose colored glasses, I would say, um, there's always things that could have improved in the past and can improve in the present. And, you know, one day we'll look at the present day and be like, oh, I wish I could go back to that. Despite it being the middle of the pandemic, um, I think that, you know, in general, there are going to be things that years down the road, I'm going to look back and be like, oh, I wish I could go back to that. And when, you know, this was going on and this was a simpler thing and I didn't have to worry about X, Y, and Z. Um, and that's weird. That's a weird thing to think about that, um, you know, time marches on, you can't go back. So dwelling on things that happened in the past just aren't good. They're not fruitful. Um, it's not going to get you anywhere, basically. So yeah, this was another weird, like rambling video from me. And I apologize. Um, it's just, you know, sometimes 
when I do these videos, it's just like a thought vomit. I just, you know, say what's popping into my head. And I hope that, you know, it connects with somebody out there. And if it doesn't, that's fine. Because sometimes the best thing for me is to just get out my thoughts. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, I will definitely make another video tomorrow. Gonna keep going. Um, yesterday, definitely was having a bad day. Feeling a little bit better today. Um, and that's good. Just need to keep on keeping on. <clears throat> so just remember, throughout your life, advance daily. Becoming more skillful than yesterday, more skillful than today. This is never ending. Thanks, guys. Bye.